in the last episode, we uh, braved the northern winter, and we actually finished it quite early, so we are kind of rich. And now we're trying to get into the dwarven doors. <coughs> it's been a while since I've played. I think I played it two weeks ago, so uh, I need to <laughs> get back into the swing of things here. Okay, so. Uh, Bring out your snow shovels and let's play the battle for Wesnoth. Now the thing about having so much money in this level is I don't actually need it because would you not recall someone? It was oh now now I can. <coughs> because I have a very, very uh limited t amount of time. As you can see here, twenty turns, and I have to get going I need five turns to get here. Then I need some turns to get here, and I think I actually have to go over here. So nine turns are the ve at the very least, and that is not considering the time I need to spend fighting. Because I'm quite sure I will meet resistance. So yeah, I have to do that. So I'm just going to recall everything I have, except the merman, because he's kind of useless here. <coughs> I might recall him when I'm over here. Actually, I won't. Nope. Nope, I won't. Okay. Ugh, so many good art. Uh, so many good units here. I don't know if I. <coughs> Sorry, if there's a point in in trying to rush them and kill them, or if I should just. Uh, the defense of the dwarfs must have been strong. Look at those ruined towers. The battle outside was fierce and lasted a full half year. It's kind of silly. But the battles inside the tunnels were worse. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. <coughs> also, I think I'll try to uh, wipe out the uh, enemies as I go along. Just so they don't bother me. I'm going to use this guy to fortify that place. Because what you really don't want to have happen is uh, you don't want to get surrounded. And I'm quite sure that if I just walk straight up, I will get surrounded and most likely killed. Because getting surrounded and getting killed are basically the same thing. Yeah, recall everything. Just for the sake of recalling. I'll probably try to get going uh, at turn... Four. <coughs> so two more turns of uh, calling in units. Actually, screw it. I'm gonna call in guys this turn and then try to sort that out. <coughs> I'll try to start moving Conrad up. Okay, you could go there. You can do that. I want to move this one over here. Delphodor goes there. Those guys have to go around, which is kind of annoying. Okay, the elves move over there in the mountains. Can you actually... no, you can't. Okay, I was hoping you could take over that town over there. He won't be able to do that, though. Okay, recall, another thief, another fighter, another shaman. A horseman, a horseman as well. I'm going to recruit one of those guys as well. <coughs> and I might need another mage as well. I'm saying as well a lot today. I don't know why. Okay, you could go there, but I don't want you to do that. Or do I want you to do that? No, I don't. I actually want you to go... Here. No, here. Okay, end the turn. Did I move Conrad up? No, I didn't. Damn. <coughs> I was expecting him to move in with the uh, crossbow guy. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, he seems to not want to do me that favor. Oh well. 
Oh, don't die on me, Carlens. Don't you dare to die on me. Oh well, he uh, paid back quite heavily. So I'm fine with that result. And he didn't die, which is important. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a uh, bad scratchy throat today. I don't know why. No, oddly enough, it started <laughs> as I was having a... Uh, after lunch, so it's it's really strange. Okay, let's stab this guy. I want to use the uh, advanced units f uh, on the more uh, on the units that have more health, just to uh, get some sort of progression going on here. Delphador, you suck. Garden's you suck as well. <laughs> that was bad. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. <coughs> it sucked. Oh my. Okay, let's get some guys going over here. And I need to heal that uh, Elvis Shide. I also want to move a, a few troops over there so they can uh, stop the uh, progression of the uh, blue guy. Just a few, mind you. You go there, and you move just up. <coughs> okay, let's call in some more mages, just for having them. I also had some mages left over from last round, oh well. Who cares? <coughs> well, let's call in this guy. And now Conrad has to move up. It is absolutely necessary to uh, to start moving in time. I mean, I could also try to create some sort of a, a safe corridor for them. So Conrad could go here and then probably go here. I think I remember this scenario, so... Uh, yeah. I also hope I don't have to try this over and over again, because... As you know, I tried to cut the videos out where I fail. So... Yeah. That would be a thing. I also don't know how much I can record today. That was probably a bad move. Ow, that was... No, don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Please don't kill him. And now you're dodging. Stupid elf. <coughs> oh, well, at least he didn't die, so I can still try to move him back to a village or something along uh, those lines. Yeah, spin around and heal. <coughs> Not exactly sure how that heals, but fine with me. Conrad moves here. And he doesn't bother aiming with his bloody bow. 3150. Let's try that. Let's not try that. You go back here. Okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to attack. How is this guy dodging all that? Orcs don't seem to be that able to uh, move around. They don't seem to be that maneuverable to me. And I think the uh, in-game law also kind of hints that they're not. They're kind of clumsy. Well, most of them are. Apparently those guys aren't, so color me impressed. Okay, let's not do that. Let's actually kill it with this one. Or not. Fine with me, I can do that as well. Okay, let's slow down the troll. You can move into those squares. Okay. I have to consider that. Just so they don't get this final hit on Carlins. Uh, who is, as you might remember, still a vital unit to me. Not that I care about the elf, it's just that I need to keep him alive. For the sake of the story. Okay. 
one over here and the rest moves over there. Okay, end the turn. I hope Conrad doesn't bite the dust here, but as long as I keep giving them some thieves to attack, they are more than happy to take those. Awesome horsemen. The thing about having high level unit I units is they also take a while to recover. Although, of course, uh, I have to admit that recovering 8 health a turn is quite a substantial bit of health for most units. Is that an advanced? No, it's, it's just a simple scout. I thought it was an advanced unit, but no, it isn't. The Elvish scouts are becoming pretty amazing uh, if you get them to, to level up, although I'm, I'm pretty bad at keeping cavalry units alive. I admit that. I tend to lose them, although you've, you've seen that already, so uh, don't tell me you're surprised at this confession. Okay. Can you take that out? No, you can't. You can try, though. No, you, you, you better don't. Let's try this instead. Okay, we got him to 31, uh, 32. Blimey. I don't want to leave Conrad standing around this turn, though, so uh, I'd rather not do too much here. And what I want to do is I want to leave Conrad here only for those fights to take place, so he uh, can inspire his units. Although I wish he would do a bit better at that. Okay, magic missile, this one. Um. <sighs> How to do that? If you could go over here. Slow this down a bit. Good job. Uh, we'll have to leave Conrad there, as much as I hate to do that. Actually, no, we don't. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, I mean, Conrad is resilient. That has to be said. He does know how to uh, pack a punch. He kind of has to. Okay, you go... Actually, no, you take that. Carlos is kind of quick, so he can make use of that and still return to the fray in time. Backstab it. That's a rogue, so uh, he's kind of good. Uh, I need you to go there. Okay, we have a good melee fighter here. Woohoo, he leveled. <laughs> Lucky us. Okay, how to do a how to deal with those? I kind of want the knight to... Uh... Oh well, let's try that. Nice. That's how I want to see those battles. Short and with a win for me. Oh, we can almost level up this knight. I'm not sure what I'll do with him. And yeah, that's what I said earlier with uh, the time you actually spend fighting as well. Because I'm still slowed down by enemy control zones and all that stuff. Approach this uh, fortress from the south, I guess. No units left behind. I don't want to move this guy out because I'm quite sure he will die there. Or he, he would die if I moved him out. <coughs> nice. Oh wow, this guy is holding himself quite well. I'll have to give him some time to rest though. Okay, that worked out as uh, pretty fine as well. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect this guy to survive it, but fine with me if he does. Okay, that's some easy experience. Yeah, I expected that. 
Uh, the AI is always good with uh, taking free experience, so if they see a chance to easily hit, they will generally use it. However, this thing can be played by two people. Sadly, he has the uh, defense there. Or he has the advantage that my units are righteous. Right? Lawful. Not righteous, lawful. So, uh, yeah. I'm at a disadvantage during the dawn. I hadn't considered that. I thought I could finish him off with uh, one attack. But I didn't. Okay. I actually want you to go here. This marksman will take care of this orc. <coughs> or not, she doesn't have to. I don't mind to uh, grab that. Sorcery ho! <coughs> there we go. Okay, now to uh, move in on that orc. He can shoot, which kind of sucks. Because that's the most uh, glaring advantage of the elves over the, the orcs, the elves can shoot. And they are doing quite admirably at it, so uh, yeah. They shoot and they do it well. And we sorted out Oh, well, we almost sorted out the green enemy, which is good. I think I might break the episode after that. Okay, can you finish this guy off? You cannot. Oh, well, can you? No, you also can't. Oh, uh, goodness. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Great. Maybe I'll even get a second healer out of this. Uh, yeah, move ahead. Gotta make use of that. And I actually think I can move my uh, rogue uh, fugitive out of that to do some damage over here. Yeah. That's enough. Um, move this guy back. No, this guy back in town. This guy to here. I think he'll attack this uh, horseman. Actually, he can't. Well, that worked. Uh, can I move my rogue in here? Yes, I can. And I will. Quite sure he will die, though. Yeah, that might have been a bad move. But who cares about bad moves? I do those all the time. Okay, now about you. Oh well. Let's grab some free experience. I consider everything that I can uh, do without enemy retaliation free experience. <coughs> so yeah. It's generally good to use it. Ow. Ow, that sucked. Uh, well. uh, we might want to, ret um, to retreat there. Because there's a lot of trolls approaching. We don't want that to happen. Yeah, you guys get the hell back. Okay, that works. The troll can't reach us here. And I'm glad I won't have any surprises with the uh, range. Like, oh, this unit can move uh, further now that it's dark. I'm not sure if uh, those uh, this kind of um, modification exists. It might have been coded in in some sort of... Um, uh, not plug-in, in some sort of player-made campaign. But I haven't seen that yet. I suppose it would be a, a decent add-on, or it, it could make a fun add-on. However, we also have to consider that it would make the game ridiculously complex at some point. And what I like about it is, what, about, what I like about Battle for Wesnot so far is that they try to keep it somewhat simple. Okay, now you all can shoot, but we can shoot better in the, in the fortress. 
Uh, yeah, we'll we'll not want to attack this guy in ranged combat. Uh, by any means, I don't want to do that. I could try to no, he'll he'll melee it away. He'll melee that one out. And again, it might be better to. No, I don't think he will go for melee here. It's just too dangerous, and the yeah it tries to protect the uh, leaders at least to some extent. Okay, magic missile. This one. I hate mountain rangers. They slow down everything so far. Woohoo, we hit. Woohoo, we hit that one too. Okay, you get to there so you can heal. And I'll leave this one there. Okay, we're a bit slower than I had hoped for, and I don't like the look of those trolls there a single bit. I really don't like it. Oh wow, I didn't expect him to do that. I expected him to, to use the uh, archer here. Which is he's... Well, he was using the archer. I count that as a... Uh, I was right. Okay, he's, he's not yet formed a solid front of enemies, so I can still take him out there. Okay, now this is kind of bad for me. This went well. He's not yet leveled. Kind of sucks. Okay, if you attack this one with a bow... And ideally would do more damage to it. I would have been more than happy, but no, you didn't. Uh, we're not gonna charge this one. Yeah, I might lose a paladin here. Pretty sure I'll lose a paladin here. At least I didn't lose a horseman. <laughs> that would have been worse. Okay, we also didn't seem to ha uh, to lose any uh, units down here except that one scout. It was almost about to level, as I uh, shamefully admit. Okay, if you take out this... Okay, now you do that... Good job! We took care of one of those enemies, which means we can now somewhat safely travel. And we can also move on, which is great. Moving on is always good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you'd think 70% hit chance would be more, but nope. It's not. It actually means you're miss you're still missing most of that. Oh wow, now we're kicking up the uh, fun music. I don't know how I balance the sound volume and if you can hear that, but I I like that music. It's it feels heroic. So this is classic fantasy music, I don't know why. I consider that like, the archetypical fantasy music. Although it sounds kind of Irish now. I don't know, Irish music is fun. Uh, it, it sounds very, very cheerful, very happy, and... Uh, just generally positive, and... I don't know, I like it. Uh, even though I've never been to Ireland or anything. I just like the music. Okay, any units I forgot? Forgetting a unit is very bad here because if you're on a time on a very uh, very tight time limit, uh, okay, that was to be expected. Uh, you have a bit of trouble. How? That was my elvish hero. Yeah, he might die there. He did die there. Was a short time hero, very heroic. Uh, where was I? Right. 
if you're on a very tight time limit, damn, I, <laughs> I didn't want to lose a paladin there. I'd hoped I could preserve him. Oh well. Uh, for getting a unit down here sucks because you won't be able to get it back into action in time. And those are actually the levels I hate most, or I, I like least, in the Battle for Wesnop. Simply because time limits suck. I actually generally don't like levels with time limits. Mostly because I prefer to take my time with everything. Like, okay, I do that and I'm slowly getting places. Start here, yeah, that is reasonably safe, so let's take this over. Okay. Can you? You could. If you hit them both, which you of course don't. <sighs> okay. Let's see how we can salvage that. Okay, I can move this one over there, so I will. Uh, Conrad, what about you? Yeah, that's a bit risky with the melee, so I'd rather not do it. Ow! Do I have anything else nearby that can take care of that? Well, so what about this one? Uh, 50. Let's try it. Let's fail horribly. Let's level up. Ooh, a grand knight. Those are amazing. Uh, but I actually want the paladin here. Paladins can heal, which is good. And they also... Well, they, they deal decent damage. Do they have an upgrade? Let me just check that quickly. Unit description. Nope. So, yeah. They can deal a hell of a damage against undead, though. Which is fine with me as well. And I know um, I was likely to take uh, melee damage here. I didn't care about that particularly, though. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's see if this one can finish it off. He can! Great. So, move the thief over there. And then we'll have to move over snow, which is also something I'm not overly fond of. Simply because most units, if not all, have very, very horrible defenses on snow. Okay, I'm not too keen on my chances here. I will still break off the video here, though. So I'll see you all next time. Well, after this turn. Didn't that count as an ambush? I'm surprised. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't go for Conrad there. I am so glad he didn't go for Conrad. And also on the a Grand Knight next turn, or next time I get to upgrade a, a Knight. Just to have those, and I mean, they are awesome as well. Very, very damaging. But all of that next turn, so I'll see you then. Bye!